Welcome to Chaos Control with Kate Bonnie. I am your host, Kate Bonnie. I would like to thank each and every one of you for viewing this video today. Without your support, this channel is not possible, so please make sure to like this video, subscribe by ringing that bell, comment, and share. Welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am assembling a Two Trees Laser Etcher. I believe the model is the T55 Pro. You will see I'm unboxing all of the parts and there are so very many parts. And then I consult the owner's manual. Well, the owner's manual is mostly diagrams with some very poorly translated captions. There were significant and key points that were left out of the manual that I kind of had to figure out on my own. There are two QR codes on the front of the manual. The first QR code is for the software download that I completed yesterday. The second QR code is to a four and a half minute assembly video that also did not clearly show you how to attach different parts. What they showed in the video did not necessarily match what I was seeing in front of me. Moving away from the assembly for just a moment, uh, you may have noticed that I have been playing around with the blur feature a little bit more. I have learned how to break film clips into pieces so that I can add the blur and have it track a little more accurately. However, at some point in time in this video, I will give up. In the video, you mostly see me in profile. You do not see very, very few head-on shots of me as I move in and out of frame. It just is not worth the trouble to try to blur myself out in every single frame. You will see me in profile for a good portion of this video. At this point in time, I'm beginning to think that the mask really isn't necessary. It does serve a purpose. It grants me some anonymity so I don't accidentally out my family and friends. But it also reminds me that while I am being my true self and I am speaking my true voice, I'm not necessarily the same person in these videos as I am if you encountered me on the street. And we just had a brief appearance by Doc Dillinger. He had to come into the workshop to retrieve some of his tools. As I was saying, I am not necessarily the same person in these videos as you would meet on the street. In the videos, I choose what you see. When I add audio to the videos, I choose my words very carefully. If you met me on the street, you would find I'm a little different. I am still outspoken, and sometimes my mouth gets me into trouble. I am neuroatypical. Well, they used to call it neuroatypical, but I believe the modern terminology is neurodivergent. My brain does not process information the same way most people's brains do. I am not on the autistic spectrum. I do not fit the criteria for that diagnosis. But we do know that my brain does not work in the typical fashion. I have difficulty processing social information. I am intelligent. I absorb information like a sponge. So some people consider me a know-it-all because it seems like no matter what the subject is, I have an answer. As I've gotten older and there is more information in my head, I tend to state things erroneously more than I used to. Still, I have all of this information in my head and I do my best to apply it to new situations. And sometimes in those situations, it makes perfect logical sense to me to do what I did, but other people don't see it that way. Like maybe they think I should have done something else instead. But in my brain, it made perfect sense. This causes some social anxiety, shall we say. But I've always had social anxiety. Part of my problem is I have difficulty 
interpreting social situations. The joke goes right over my head. I have never been able to tell the difference between someone who is joking with me or someone who is being serious. If you say something with a serious face, I'm going to take you seriously. I don't understand when people are joking or when people are kidding. And that led me to cry a lot as a child. As a matter of fact, you can ask my sister. You can ask my classmates. I was a crybaby. I got teased for it. I was bullied. I ended up having to grow a thick skin. But what nobody really realized, I wasn't crying because my feelings were hurt. I wasn't crying because I wasn't getting my way. I was crying because I didn't understand. I was crying because I was frustrated. I was crying because I was angry at myself for being different. And quite frankly, I knew that I couldn't hit people. I knew that being violent was wrong. So crying became an outlet. Crying is how I let that anger and that frustration go. Because if I didn't, if I kept it bottled up, I was going to hurt someone. I grew up in a time when high schoolers kept their hunting rifles in their trucks on school grounds. None of us ever thought about going out to a truck and grabbing a gun and shooting everyone. It wasn't something any of us ever really thought of. Now, I never thought about shooting up the school, but I remember being as young as seven years old and wishing that certain people, certain bullies would die. And I also remember wishing that I was dead, that I would die. All because I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. I always felt like an odd duck. I always felt like an outsider. And the harder I pushed to try and belong, the more outside I felt. So to anyone out there who might be watching this video and feeling a lot like what I've described, understand you're not alone. You do belong and you are valuable. Now that's about all the personal sharing I can do today because we've run out of video. So I'm just going to put up the still picture of me working on the assembly and get back to some of the technicals of the video. As you can see, I did not complete the assembly in the video. The original length of this video was going to be about, oh, two hours. I got about an hour and a half into taping and my memory card ran out of room. The camera shut down and I didn't realize it. So you are missing out on the end of the assembly. I did not run any test patterns on it. I had to get to the chiropractor. So in an upcoming video, I will show the fully assembled product and run some test engravings. I will find out if it actually does what I bought it to do. I hope you join me for that. And I might throw in a bonus episode. I have about a three minute video of some woods walking I did with my pups today. And I took the black lab on the leash out to the edge of the woods while the chewini and the pit bull ran free. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from me, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and like it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd also love to hear your comments. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what you want to see from this channel. And please remember to share my channel and this video with your friends and family. If you would like to support this channel, you can email to katebonnie20 at gmail.com. I'm always open to viewer input and I am currently accepting donations to support the channel and purchase better audio and video equipment through PayPal.